Hi everyone. In today's lesson, we'll be taking a look at how to find the rule of any exponential function. So in your notebook, please put down today's subtitle, which is Find the Rule of Exponential Functions. Determining the rule of an exponential function is extremely easy, but it does depend on being well-skilled at three techniques. First, you must be well-skilled at your regular algebraic manipulations. Second, you must be well-skilled at your laws of exponents. And third, you must be well-skilled at a type of elimination technique for solving a system of equations, which is called elimination through division. In the past, you may have dealt with elimination through addition or subtraction in order to solve a system. In this lesson, you'll be learning a new type of elimination, but one that uses division. One main aspect that makes finding the rule of an exponential function so easy is the fact that you'll be concerned with determining the rule in only one format. It will always take on the format y equals a multiplied by c exponent x plus k. Notice that we actually don't have to worry about the variables b and h, which would normally be found in the exponent position along with the variable x. There is another aspect to this format involving the variable k, which will make some questions easier than others. Remember that the value of k in the exponential function represents your horizontal asymptote. With that being said, in a given question, if your horizontal asymptote turned out to be located at y equals to 0, that means that k equals to 0. In that case, when you find the rule, the value of k is not even present. With all that being said, it's time to look at some examples. So, for our first example, I would like you to first pause the video and carefully get the following graph down. The curve doesn't have to be super accurate. What's important is that the two points that are shown, please make sure that you get them down properly. With your graph ready to go, let's get to work. First thing you want to do is partially form the rules of the exponential function using the given two points. How do we do that? Well, let's take the first point located at 3 and 8. So what we want to do with the 3 and 8 is partially form the rule that belongs to this graph. Making sure you plug things into the correct variables in the format y equals a times c to the x plus k. Plugging in that point will give us 8 is equal to a, which we don't know, the base c, which we don't know, the x is 3, and the k is 0, because if you look at the graph, the horizontal asymptote is located at x equals 0. And this partially gives us the rule for this graph. Notice that we have two variables that are unknown. Next, we want to do the same thing with the second point. So in this example, our second point partially gives us the following rule. 1 is equal to a, which we still don't know, the base c, which we still don't know, and the x value is 0 from the point. Now the big question is, with these two rules, each of them with two missing variables, how do we proceed to solve any one of the variables? Well, this is actually the cool part. With these two rules, we can form a system of equations. Treating two rules together as a system of equations will allow us to use a new method of elimination called elimination through division. So how does elimination through division work? Well, it's actually pretty easy. What you essentially want to do is take both rules and do the left side divided by left side and the right side of the rule divided by the right side. In our example, this will give us the left side of the first rule, which is 8, divided by the left side of the second rule, which is 1. We only need one equal sign. And then, 
we take the right side of the first rule, which was a times c exponent 3, and we divide it by the right side of the second rule, which is a multiplied by c exponent 0. And using a combination of regular algebra and laws of exponents, we get that on the left side, 8 divided by 1 is equal to 8 equals, and here's where the magic happens. The two a variables reduce into each other. So they get eliminated, leaving behind c exponent 3 divided by c exponent 0. And using the laws of exponents, you know that that should equal c exponent 3. And the magic here is that the two a variables are eliminated, thereby leaving behind a single variable, the c. Now it's just a matter of doing your regular algebra to determine the value of c. In this case, we have that the third root of 8 will equal to c, therefore c is equal to 2. And finally, we still can't forget what the actual variable a is. We still need to determine it. In order to do that, now that we have the variable c, we can simply take c and plug it into any one of the two rules. How about let's use the first one. So we have that 8 is equal to a. Now let's plug in the value of c, which is 2, exponent 3. This was our first rule. And using a regular algebra, we find that 8 is equal to a multiplied by 8, and therefore a is equal to 1. So in the end, our rule is y equals to 1 multiplied by 2 exponent x, and the k is 0, so it is not visible. Let's try another example, which I will guide you through one more time. Except for this example, let's tighten up the space requirements so that we don't take up as much paper. For our second example, I'd like you to pause the video and get down the following graph. Go ahead, do it now. All right, let's go through the procedure one more time. First, what we want to do is partially form the rule for this graph using both of the given points. So I'm going to start with the higher point, 2 and 20. My recommendation is to use the higher point first so that it will make your elimination through division a lot easier. So following the format of the exponential function, using the first point, it will give us the rule 20 is equal to a, which we don't know, the base c, which we don't know, and the value of x in that point is 2, and the k is not present because if you look at the graph, the horizontal asymptote is located at at y equals 0. Next, let's form the second rule using the second point. Again, following the same format, we get that 5 is equal to a, which we don't know, the base c, which we don't know, and the value of x from the point, which is 0. So there we have it. Using the two points, we have formed partially the two rules belonging to this graph. Finally, to indicate that we are solving a system involving these two rules, I usually put braces next to them to indicate that this is the system. Now we are ready to employ our elimination through division. One more time, elimination through division involves taking the left side of one rule divided by the left side of the other rule. So that will give us 20 divided by 5 one equal sign, and then we have to take the right side of the first rule divided by the right side of the second rule. So that will give us a multiplied by c exponent 2 divided by a multiplied by c exponent 0. Continuing with your regular algebra and laws of exponents, we have that 20 divided by 5 is equal to 4. Here's where the magic happens. The two a variables get eliminated, leaving behind c exponent 2 divided by c exponent 0, which gives us c exponent 2. 
And therefore, the value of c comes from taking the second root of 4, or in other words, the square root of 4. And therefore, c is equal to 2. And finally, we can't forget about the a value. So, using the newly found value for c, we can take any one of the two rules to help us find the value for a. So, I'm going to use, how about the second rule? So, the second rule becomes 5 is equal to a, which we're trying to find now. And let's plug in the value for c, which is 2. Exponent 0. That gives us 5 is equal to a multiplied by 1. And therefore, a is equal to 5. So, therefore, the rule for this graph is simply y equals to 5 multiplied by the base 2 exponent x. And there is no k value because the horizontal asymptote was located at y equals 0. So as you can see, using the elimination through division technique is extremely easy. Let's take a look at one last example, but this time let's have a value for our horizontal asymptote other than y equals 0. So the value of k will finally make an appearance. So for our final example, please carefully pause the video and draw the following graph. With your graph ready to go, let's take a look at the procedure one last time. So what we want to do first is partially form the rule for this graph using the two points. I reiterate my suggestion form the first rule using the higher point. So that will give me the rule partially 6246 is equal to a which we don't know multiplied by c which we don't know exponent the value of x which is 5 this time we have k which is negative 4. For the second rule we have 46 is equal to a, which we don't know, c, which we don't know, and the value of x, which is 2, and again we have the same k value, minus 4. And to indicate that we will be solving a system, put the braces on the left side. Now, the presence of the k causes just a slight complication. According to the laws of exponents, we cannot do c to the 5 divided by c to the 2 as long as there's a subtract 4 hanging around. So the only step extra that we need to do is to move the negative 4 to the other side of the equal sign. So therefore that will give us 6246 plus 4 which is 6250 equal to a times c to the 5 and for the second rule, moving the negative 4 to the other side of the equal sign gives us 46 plus 4, which is 50, equal to a times c exponent 2. And now we are allowed to use the laws of exponents to do the c to the 5 divided by c to the 2. Using our elimination through division, we get that 6250 divided by 50 is equal to a times c to the 5 divided by a times c to the 2. And magically, the two a variables end up eliminating each other, leaving behind 125 is equal to c exponent 3. Therefore, the third root of 125 gives us the variable c, which turns out to be 5. And finally, don't forget about solving for a using any of the two rules. I'm going to use uh, the second rule. It has a much smaller y value. So, we have 46 is equal to a, which we're trying to solve. I'm going to plug in c, which was 5, exponent 2, subtract 4. So using a regular algebra, let's isolate the variable a. 
That gives us 46 is equal to 25a minus 4. Continuing, we have that 50 is equal to 25a, and therefore a is equal to 2. So therefore, our rule is y equals to 2 multiplied by base 5 exponent x minus 4. And that's all there is, ladies and gentlemen, to find on the rule of an exponential function. Thanks to our brand new elimination through division technique for solving a system of equations.